Welcome back to another exciting episode where we delve into the fascinating world of technology. Today, we have a particularly intriguing topic lined up for you. Today, we're diving into the world of iPhone hacking. Yes, you heard that right. We're going to explore the ins and outs of how hackers target one of the most popular smartphones in the world. But first, a huge disclaimer hacking into someone's device without their permission is illegal and just plain wrong. It's important to understand that this video is not an endorsement of any illegal activities. This information is purely for educational purposes, to help you understand the threats and protect yourself. Our goal is to make you more aware of the potential vulnerabilities and how you can safeguard your personal information. Now, you might think iPhones are impenetrable fortresses. After all, Apple has a reputation for building some of the most secure devices on the market. Apple spends a ton of resources on security, and they're generally considered very secure. Their team of engineers is constantly working to patch vulnerabilities and enhance the security features of their devices. But just like any tech, they're not perfect. No system is entirely foolproof, and there are always potential weaknesses that can be exploited. Hackers are always finding new ways to exploit weaknesses, even in the latest iPhone 15 and 16. These individuals are incredibly resourceful and constantly evolving their techniques to stay ahead of security measures. This essay will be the blueprint for an upcoming video on our Ministry of Hacking channel, so make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss it. We have a lot of exciting content planned that you won't want to miss. We'll explore the methods hackers use from simple tricks to sophisticated attacks. We'll break down the techniques and show you how they work, so you can better understand the risks and how to protect yourself. So grab your thinking caps and let's get started. This journey into the world of iPhone hacking is not just about understanding the threats, but also about empowering you with the knowledge to stay one step ahead. Whether you're a tech enthusiast, a concerned parent, or just someone who wants to keep their personal information safe, this video is for you. We'll cover a range of topics, including how to set up strong passwords, the importance of two-factor authentication, and how to recognize phishing attempts. These are all crucial steps in protecting your device from potential hackers. Additionally, we'll discuss the latest trends in cybersecurity and what the future might hold for iPhone security. Staying informed is one of the best ways to protect yourself, and we're here to help you do just that. Remember, security is an ongoing process. It's not something you can set and forget. Regularly updating your device and staying aware of the latest threats is key to keeping your information safe. We'll also touch on the importance of using VPNs and other security tools to add an extra layer of protection. These tools can help keep your data secure, especially when using public Wi-Fi networks. So stay tuned, stay informed, and stay secure. We're excited to take this journey with you and help you become more knowledgeable about iPhone security. Let's dive in and explore the fascinating world of iPhone hacking together. Before we jump into hacking, let's understand what makes iPhones secure in the first place iPhones are renowned for their robust security features, which are designed to protect users' data and privacy. Apple has invested heavily in creating a secure ecosystem that is difficult for hackers to penetrate. Apple uses a multi-layered approach, like a digital vault with multiple locks. This means that even if one layer is breached, there are several other layers that still protect your data. This multi-layered security is a combination of hardware and software features that work together seamlessly. Firstly, every iPhone runs on Apple's iOS operating system. iOS is a closed source system, which means that Apple controls both the hardware and software. This tight integration allows Apple to optimize security features and ensure that they are consistently updated. iOS is designed with security in mind, with features like sandboxing that isolate apps from each other and the core system. Sandboxing ensures that even if an app is compromised, it cannot access data from other apps or the system itself. This isolation is crucial in preventing malware from spreading. This makes it harder for malware to spread if one app is compromised. Additionally, iOS includes built-in security measures such as regular updates and patches that address vulnerabilities as soon as they are discovered. Secondly, iPhones use something called code signing. Code signing is a process where Apple verifies the identity of the app developer and ensures that the app has not been tampered with. This verification process is essential in maintaining the integrity of the apps available on the App Store. This basically means Apple checks every app before it's allowed on the App Store, ensuring it meets their security standards. The App Store review process is rigorous, and only apps that meet Apple's strict guidelines are approved. 
This helps to ensure that users are downloading safe and secure apps. This helps prevent malicious apps from reaching your device. Finally, there's encryption. Encryption is a method of converting data into a code to prevent unauthorized access. Apple uses strong encryption to protect users' data both in transit and at rest. Your iPhone encrypts your data, making it unreadable without the correct passcode or biometric authentication. This means that even if someone gains physical access to your device, they cannot access your data without your permission. This protects your information even if someone gains physical access to your device. In addition to passcodes, iPhones also use biometric authentication methods such as Face ID and Touch ID. These methods provide an additional layer of security by ensuring that only the authorized user can unlock the device. Furthermore, iPhones also offer secure cloud storage options through iCloud. iCloud uses end-to-end -end encryption to protect your data, ensuring that it remains secure even when stored on Apple's servers. This means that only you can access your data, and not even Apple can decrypt it. Another important security feature is two-factor authentication, 2FA. 2FA adds an extra layer of protection by requiring a second form of verification in addition to your password. This could be a code sent to your phone or a biometric verification. By enabling 2FA, you can significantly enhance the security of your Apple ID and personal data. Apple also provides security alerts to notify you of any suspicious activity on your account. These alerts help you take immediate action to protect your account and data. By staying informed and vigilant, you can ensure that your iPhone remains secure. In conclusion, iPhones are designed with multiple layers of security to protect your data and privacy. From the secure iOS operating system to code signing, encryption, and two-factor authentication, Apple has created a robust security framework. By understanding and utilizing these features, you can keep your iPhone and personal information safe from threats. Stay secure with iPhone. One of the most common ways hackers target iPhones isn't by breaking the code, but by tricking you into giving them access. This is called phishing. You might receive a text message or email that looks like it's from a trusted source like your bank or a delivery company. These messages often create a sense of urgency, urging you to click a link or provide personal information. But here's the catch. That link could lead to a fake website designed to steal your login credentials. Or the message might try to trick you into installing malicious software disguised as a legitimate app. Section 4. Jailbreaking, removing Apple's protection. Think of jailbreaking as hacking your own iPhone. It involves bypassing Apple's restrictions to gain full control over the operating system. While this might sound appealing for customization, it opens up a huge security hole. When you jailbreak your iPhone, you remove the safety net that Apple provides. You can install apps from unofficial sources, which might be malicious. Jailbreaking can also disable security features, making your device more vulnerable to attacks. While some people jailbreak for legitimate reasons, like developers testing apps, it's generally not recommended for everyday users. Section 5. Exploiting Software Vulnerabilities In this section, we delve into the intricate world of software vulnerabilities and how they can be exploited by malicious actors. Understanding these vulnerabilities is crucial for both developers and users to ensure the security of their devices and data. Sometimes, hackers find weaknesses in the iOS software itself, these weaknesses can be due to coding errors, design flaws, or even unforeseen interactions between different parts of the software. When these weaknesses are discovered, they are referred to as vulnerabilities. These are called vulnerabilities or exploits. An exploit is a piece of code or a technique that takes advantage of a vulnerability to perform unauthorized actions. It's like having a key that can open a lock that wasn't supposed to be accessible. Think of it like finding a hidden back door in that secure vault we talked about earlier. This back door allows someone to bypass all the security measures and gain access to the valuable contents inside. In the context of software, this means gaining access to sensitive data or control over the device. These vulnerabilities can exist in various parts of the operating system, from how it handles Wi-Fi connections to how it processes certain files. For instance, a flaw in the Wi-Fi handling code could allow a hacker to intercept and manipulate data being transmitted over the network. Hackers can exploit these weaknesses to gain unauthorized access to your device or data. This could mean anything from stealing personal information, such as photos and messages, to installing malicious software that can spy on your activities or even take control of your device. Apple takes software updates very seriously, regularly releasing patches to fix these vulnerabilities as soon as they're discovered. 
These patches are crucial because they close the back doors that hackers might use to access your device. That's why it's crucial to keep your iPhone up to date with the latest iOS version. Regular updates ensure that your device has the latest security enhancements and bug fixes, protecting you from known vulnerabilities. Always make it a habit to install updates as soon as they are available to maintain the security and functionality of your device. Over the years, Apple has released numerous updates, each addressing different security issues. These updates not only add new features but also strengthen the overall security framework of the iOS operating system. By staying updated, you are essentially fortifying your device against potential threats. In addition to updating your software, there are other best practices you can follow to enhance your security. Enabling automatic updates ensures that you never miss a critical patch. Also, being cautious about the apps you download and the permissions you grant can prevent malicious software from exploiting vulnerabilities on your device. Always review the permissions requested by apps and be wary of those that ask for more access than necessary. By staying vigilant and proactive, you can significantly reduce the risk of falling victim to exploits and keep your personal information safe. Remember, security is an ongoing process. By understanding the nature of software vulnerabilities and taking the necessary steps to protect your device, you can enjoy a safer and more secure digital experience. Stay informed, stay updated, and stay secure. Section 6 Zero Click Attacks The Invisible Threat Now, let's talk about the scary stuff zero click attacks. These are highly sophisticated attacks that can compromise your iPhone without you even tapping a single button. These attacks often exploit vulnerabilities in how your iPhone handles certain types of data like images, messages, or even phone calls. Hackers can send you a specially crafted message or file that triggers the vulnerability, silently installing malware or stealing your data. Zero-click attacks are incredibly difficult to detect and prevent, as they often leave no trace. Luckily, they're also relatively rare and usually target high-profile individuals.